Welcome back, folks. This is another Let's Play of Hearts of Iron 4. This is Perry here, picking up where we left off previously. Um, I'm thinking the mic problems that I've been having forever have been fixed, finally, thanks to some wise advice I was given. If they're still having problems, please leave a comment so I, I know, and and I can go to plan, oh, I don't know, MMRO at this point. So we're going to pick up where we left off. It's May of 1940. I have a September 1940 deadline for... Oh, World War II. Hooray. Hooray. Um, I have sent a decent-sized army down to Borneo to help defend the island. I'm tempted to send a bunch to Papua New Guinea. Actually, you know what? I will do that. Just because... Uh, no, they can have Papa. We've got a decent army down there. Uh, and instead, what I'll do is I will throw these guys on the On the Eastern Front, because God help me, Russia. to boost our popularity in what's left of Poland. A little bit of everything for everyone. I was wanting to go after Romania. Ooh, that's tempting. No, it'll have to be after General War. Well, they fought to the finish. Wait. Too soon. Swiss Corps. Why not? Let's actually look at our mountain divisions. Can I improve their... Oh, they're all the... Okay, they're all... But the Gabriel Jaeger? The Mountain Hunter? Okay. So that army is here. And we will Actually, we have the resources. Now, what do you want to add? Cavalry would be nice just because it doesn't require the equipment. Yeah, we'll add cavalry component to our mountaineers. And we're not producing anti tank guns, which. Oh well. Solve that. Turn off the shipyards, turn off the airfields. And you think uh, I need a whole heck of a lot. Eh, well, 
We'll make do. I have... Two death factories coming online here. Should have a fair amount of factories coming online. For national focus, I'm still working on a treaty with the USSR. I want the Molotov Ribbentrop Ribbon Pact. It's then tempting to hit the uh, Unholy Alliance. Onwards we go. Uh, research, research, research. That's uh, May of 40. Industry. It's 41 that flips over. Electronics. Bring in Venezuela and Venice. Venezuela and Bulgaria. The thing is, I don't want to share. Therein lies my biggest rub. Double my manpower, though. <laughs> and we keep moving forward as we move forward to the forward moving. Hoping, yeah, I should be fine. I want to spend that exp XP to improve my fighter craft. Oh, that's right. Um, yeah, we'll capture the neighboring ones. Borneo! Borneo, Borneo, Borneo! I am deploying fighters and close air support out here just to help. Well, doing the fighters so much, but the naval bombers are to cause havoc. Tungsten, Sweden. Hit me. Thank you, Sweden. They don't like me, but I like them. join the northern front because you need soldiers
Let me have here. Need the long Okay, that's good. That's fine. Yeah, the radar stations are a salvation. I'd like the Soviets to go off and play in China. Not that there's much left for China. I think my next game will be Japan, just because. Just because. 66 days. So, new plane means. I want to swap these out. Sadly, these don't auto update. It's probably for the best. But I could still lament it. And you know what? Let's check. Oh, I was thinking about it. We're building. First off, Panzer Divisions. Oh, yeah, those are fine. It's the infantry divisions. Infantry division. It's rather boring, isn't it? You need how much? Yeah, we'll leave that as is for now. Goodness knows I'm not getting enough of them built. It's a badge coming. Marines, paratroopers. Plenty of cavalry. The silence of waiting for the next shoe to drop. And who's a good sub commander? Period. If you're going to have a sub bonus, guess what? You get the fleet. Because reasons. Always the best thing. So I have a month left. Molotov. Well, that's cutting it close. That expires. Oh, no, I'm fine. The Molotov ribbon off, and then. And then we will play. One extra Olympian. Take that, Rio de Janeiro. Take that, indeed. Interesting.
Interesting indeed. Orders get a little tricky with nations like that. Definitely a spot where improvements could be had. Poor Trotsky. Yes, I know he survived, but poor Trotsky. And the plane I was looking for. Uh, let's see. This is now available. We will upgrade it. Viability. Yeah. It's not bad for that fighter. We will start upgrading. And that's good, that's good. That's fine. That's fine. And here we go, folks. Dutch Army. That's right, airplanes. How do I not have... Oh, that's right, because I've got the old... Never dull. I will add a 
Okay, so that's it's World War II underway. Caribbean. Down to Borneo. And we will paint the coastline. That map mode. Ooh, the one supplies. Good lord, how are you getting nuked? I so vastly out maneuvered airplane wise, dear God. Well, the Air Forces are a mess right now. Wow, I'm actually a little worried. I knew more of this game than I did and paying for it. But ants how you get better, I suppose. Have they sunk my entire submarine fleet? Do they really sink all of my subs in port? Holy Jesus, they did. I deserve that, I guess. Get the hell out of there. Didn't expect that, and I'm paying for it now. I'm very, I'm very sad.
I am very sad. This may be a very short World War II for this Germany. Uh, one thing we're going to do is we're going to start building some anti-aircraft. not expecting to lose that kind of naval equipment that fast. Oh well. Or will change a bit if I can nail France. Now the problem is with the current game engine, fighters are largely useless. They, uh, they attrition at such an incredible rate, there's almost no point for them. Almost no point at all. I mean, if you're lucky enough to get air, air superiority, air supremacy, then that's one thing. But I am currently on the bad side of that. Oh yeah. They have complete naval supremacy. There's really not much I can do about it. Well, I guess I'll look for the fight.
Uh, submarines. Submarines, submarines, submarines. This is a mess. It's a huge mess, horrible mess, and we will see how much more doo-doo I can dig myself into. So thanks for watching this episode, folks, and hope to see you on the next one.